I really don't know. What? I just saw what, 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 fuck. Can't. I love the idea of tar cartons with, um, no like tar cartons with the shotguns. We are finished. But wasn't that Return guy on the right boat. just in the last scene? Why is he here now? Oh, look. Look, I'm guessing this is going to be another fight that doesn't add anything to the plot. As a matter of fact, Katana only had two. No one enters the tower. You are an excellent guard dog, Baraka. But you must learn to heal. I do not take orders from you. Round one. Fight. Yeah. Hey, man. Fuck you, Baraka. I actually don't know when his Jade... Jade's moves change quite a bit between the games. Even a weapon uh, became like a bladed pole arm in uh, Deception before they changed it back. So I... I so they change a lot about her moves, so I don't know what she has. Okay, okay. ooh. Oh yeah, I forgot she has a Johnny Cage's shadow kick. I just had to keep going until he managed, to, until he just stopped fighting back and got hit. That's my excuse for spamming. Again, according to the, uh, the Malibu comics, that shouldn't affect Baraka because he apparently has no balls. That's supposed to hurt. And Johnny's like, what the fuck? Well, that bit did lead to a hilarious no, moment where the fight, uh, Johnny Cage and Baraka's fight, leads them to um, where Shang Tsung is performing a spell. And he's like, what the fuck are you doing, you cretins? Get out of here. And the both of them just go, cretins? And then they just twat him off the ledge. And it's a brilliant moment because it's like, Baraka's on Shang Tsung's side. And he's just like, what the, it's like, you, like, you want me? Just, just dex him with Johnny. Oh, damn it. But yeah, just realize if, if Jade has the shadow kick and uh, a, and, and tap to the groin, then she's basically just turned into a, into a female Johnny Cage. Uh, I mean, I wasn't really, I wasn't gonna uh, win that round anyway. I mean, I, I didn't intend to lose. I did still try. A wake of attack. I see. Boosh! Ooh. That's a question. Why do, why do people like that show the mighty Boosh? Like, what? I, I, it, was a, it was a show that people were obsessed with, and I watched a, an episode once. I was like, I just don't get it. I mean, evidently, people who went to my school were fucking dumb and like the stupidest shit. I mean, people in general are dumb. Like, the majority of the Earth's population are fucking morons. I mean, you know, people like. I, I, couldn't, I can kind of understand the appeal of, say, the Twilight books. I could understand that, but the movies, no. Like, really? Because the books, the books were all about, um, you know, like, like self-insertion and wish fulfillment. But I'm not sure that works as well with the films. But again, people have liked dumber shit. People have liked this game's plot. So, you know. Oh, and look, the person who fucked up last time she was uh, guarding someone. No one is allowed in the tower. Wait, As so I just thought. I here. Here to help the princess so, escape. who was guarding Katana in the original timeline? Only means of regaining her honor. We have very different concepts of honor, Shokan. Because in the original timeline, wasn't no. Shiva Fight. supposed to be, uh, you know, she would still have been guarding Sonya, right? Wait, I. I which, it's like, so who would have been guarding K Katana in the original timeline? Also, the, the fact that Katana's been brought here is just completely moronic. It's like, take Katana to the tower, and then later bring her to the arena to be executed. I'm like, it's another example of how Shao Kahn's a complete mongoloid fuck. Why would you send someone to somewhere else, then to suck, and then to another location to be executed? Either, one, send her directly to the arena to be executed, or cave a fucking skull in right then and there. You have a massive hammer. Just cave a skull in and have, and have Melina assume Katana's place. As far as anyone knows, that's Katana. And then just get then get rid of then get rid of Jade and you say she was assassinated by Earthrealm Warriors, if anyone asks. That's it. That's all you need to do. There's so many other there's only ways Khan could have gotten around it, and that's something I will touch on in the review. Now, there's so many things that go wrong that Khan could have easily avoided, but doesn't, and then blames everyone else when he fucks up. Boosh! 
a smack. I probably shouldn't have wasted that X-ray. Fuck. So I do think that is a, is a, um, a cool little touch. I don't know if it was in intentional or not. Is that um, Manny Manella? I think it's pronounced. Uh, is the voice of Shiva and Sindel. She's uh, Ivy from Soul Calibur and used to be Rouge the Bat. And because this thing where Shiva is established as being um, as having been like Sindel's um, as being in charge of Sindel's like personal bodyguards. And so I don't know if that was an intentional touch that they added. I mean, it's even something that was alluded to in the uh, the second movie. As bad as the second movie fucked up, that was a detail they actually included. It they actually included, and it's like that's cool. And granted, that's the same move that established. Oh, uh, Raiden and Shao Kahn is brothers, mate, and Shinnok is her dad, dad. And now that's poisoned the game's plot by being like, oh yeah, um, Shinnok is totally working with Shao Kahn. He sent Quan Chi's emissary, and it's like, no, fuck off. I'm not, I'm not having it. Oh, you bitch! You bitch! No! Fuck. I remember when they brought Shiva back the first time, because uh, after, because uh, in MK3 she was um, because she disappeared after MK3, and there's some deadly lines where it was established that oh, um, she murdered Motaro, and then had a plot worked out with uh, Kano to to assassinate Shao Kahn, but Kano betrayed her, and then and then actually and told Shao Kahn, who then ran Shiva through with a with a, a sword and. And he was like, yo, so, yeah, do you want a reward or something? Kano's like, yeah, I want to be in your army. And so Khan let him be in his army. And that's the thing, like... It's, it's, so uh, so that was, that's when we got the establishment that Shiva was dead. And then she came back in arm again. I don't think they ever explained how she came back from the dead, like they did with most characters. And so Shiva, when she was brought back, um, she was super muscular. I don't know why, and she's also a victim of the Shokan skin colour changing all the time. Because Shokan's skin colours change, like Goro, like originally he, his skin colour was basically what it is uh, now. But in MK4 they changed it to yellow and added, added all those weird spots on his back. But then they got rid of those, like Shiva has, but they got rid of the spots on, on his back in, uh, in Deception. And gave him the colour he has now, but they also changed his face in this game to be really cat-like for some reason. Kintaro's fine because he's, he's always been tiger themed. It could actually be interesting to see more Shokans that are themed after other uh, cats. Like, imagine a lion. Or a, or a panther. Or old Bagheera. It's, it's just, it's just a, a bit. I don't know if it's actually in the Jungle Book by Disney, but uh, there are two audio books that I had as a kid. Not much of a jailer, are you? Where Mowgli says, now "You're just like old Bagheera." I both the same script, but one was using the cast from the film, one wasn't. <laughs> Wait. Go find Raiden. Ask for his help. Wait. No. 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 I'm not having that. I never noticed it before, but she was wearing her alternate costume. She got the shoulder pads and everything. She's wearing her alternate costume out of nowhere. And that's a problem that persists later into the game. Didn't take them long to get an outfit fitted for her, did it? Okay then. She's going away apparently. Huzzah! Take that! And that! And this! Is that just a normal move? No, it's. Is it... So I think that's a special move. Yeah, it's actually a special move. Down forward triangle does that. But yeah, so see, that thing about the ultimate costumes comes up later, but I thought it was just, just only an issue with the. Um... Yeah, I, I thought that was only an issue with the. Uh... The zombie part of the game, but I, I guess it's here as well. Where, where the costumes characters were different. It's weird about this; it's different in the cuts in one cutscene compared to the other. Like why? You know? 
But yeah, and it's also it's also a weird thing with Kung Lao's co costumes of choice. It's not necessarily a, a glitch, but I wonder if someone fucked up with costume choices somewhere. Well, basically, if you watch Kung Lao, like the outfit he wears during his fights, like during the during the, the parts where he's actually fighting actively in the story, the costumes he wears are uh, the costume he wears. It's the one that looks more ceremonial. Whereas the Shaolin Monks one, that, that is obviously clearly made for combat, that's the one he wears during the ceremony. And I'm like, why? Motherfucker. Actually, I wonder, what does Melina think of Sindel? Like, if she views Kitana as her sister, just views Sindel as her mother? Because the two ne they, they never interact in this game. I more of a sister to Kitana than you. I... I must find Raiden. That's, that's a fair point, though. You never see you never see him interact. Oh look! Kitana turns away from Shao Kahn, so you attack her rather than join her. This is not smoke. Kit Stop! That is not Katana. You will come no closer. Round one. All oh, right, yeah. See, I, I thought this fight included Johnny Cage. I mean, obviously it doesn't, but for some, for some reason I remembered it as involving Johnny Cage. I guess it's the same place where Katana fights Johnny Cage. Yeah, so I guess the smoke's job in, doesn't, doesn't escalate in the same way that uh, Johnny's does. Because it's a lot more understandable to lose at a one-on-one -on -one fight than when you have the advantage in numbers. But, but with Johnny, it's like, no, he just jobs worse and worse and worse every time. And I believe you, uh, you, MKX opens with Johnny Cage as well. So that was... So it's like then he gets a bit better. Oh yeah, um, to touch on the issue the last time that, that where, where the trophy came up, saying I was halfway. Um, basically, there's there are 16 chapters in the story, um, and the, at the end of each original game, um, they at the end of each like, so at the end of MK1, MK2, MK3, it actually five matches instead of uh, instead of just the usual four. As you know, my notes with Liu Kang. So that, that happens here and later on at the very end of the game. But, that's, but the thing is, so I guess that's why it's halfway though. After one fight of 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 Kitana's in Chapter Nine. So it does kind of make sense, but still, I feel like it probably should have just said after Chapter Eight because there is no exact halfway point. Lord, I was with Smoke. I thought she was a bad guy, a uh, girl. Guess he turned another one. What's Raiden got that I haven't got? Godlike power? A personality that is not at all like sanding paper? <laughs> Jerks. <laughs> See, I like this Kung Lao. See, he's a nice guy, but he's also snarky. Executed? Where is she? Held captive in the tower of Shao Kahn's fortress. I will I'm not pleased with this outcome either, Liu Kang. But there is no time. We must return to the tournament. But you are responsible for her capture! I'm you thinking the reason the tower was chosen was because in Sh MK Shaolin Monks. That's where you fight Kitana and Shaolin Monks, so I guess it's a reference to that. I mean, for this part, it is Luke and Kung Lao going together.